Hi guys, this is Adam with Adrenaline Cycles with a quick little video here to bring you some information on uh, wheel spacing and uh, little tech tips on this. Uh, not a long video here, just want to go over some of the options you guys might be seeing while you're online trying to order some wheels or when you go in the dealership and everybody's throwing out numbers at you like it's uh, you know trying to do your tax returns or something. So we'll start out with the most um, common wheel that I see on a lot of 64 inch machines. And this is the offset, the wheel brand, you know, doesn't make a whole lot of difference here. This is a 4.3 offset, so it's a seven inch wide wheel. And with this 4.3 offset, basically you're gonna have four inches to the inside of the machine and three inches to the outside of the machine. So what it's gonna do is gonna change your width of your machine. So if you're getting a 4.3, you're gonna get three inches per wheel. So you're gonna get six inches wider on your machine. So on a 64 inch machine, you're gonna be at 70 with the 4.3 offset. And now that has two options to do with it. One is, you know, if you're wanting more stability or a little bit better, you know, cornering ability with the wider offset wheel here, that'll do that for you. Um, four three is out there in a lot of brands, a lot of rims make that. And uh, it works out really good, like I said, on a narrower machine, if, especially if you've got like a 50 inch trail or something like that, you want to get that tipsy turby out of it, definitely go with the four three. Well, what we like to recommend here, going on to the next wheel, this wheel here, it's a race line, and this one is a 5.2. Um, similar to the 4.3, still seven inches wide, but you're gonna get five inches to the inside and two to the out. And with the two inches to the outside, you're gonna gain again, two inches per wheel per side. So this is gonna go from 64 to 68 inches wide. And this wheel, we like to utilize it on a lot of the 64 inch X3s, also on like the Commanders and even the Defenders. So in the Maverick Sports as well. So this wheel does really good. It's probably the most popular offset that we have here um, just because we like it. It doesn't affect the power steering as much on the X3 platform. Um, everybody knows that had issues in the past. It's really better on 2020s. But um, we just want to keep, you know, that track at 64 inch stock, 68 here with the 60 inch width. It does really, really good, performs really, really well and gives you that extra width for the stability, you know, when you're in trail riding and actually to help get you up out of ruts too. So 5.2 for us is the most popular on the X3 platform around here. Um, that's 64 inch. Moving on up, this one here is a, another race line wheel. And with it, it is basically a factory offset. Um, you get two options. They call it a 6.1 or a lot of places they call it a 38 millimeter. Um, which is a one inch offset basically to the outside. So this basically gives you your factory wheel offset for the 72 inch machines or even a 64 if you got a trail restriction or a trailer restriction or a car haul or a toy hauler restriction, anything like that. If you need to keep that factory width, this wheel right here will do it. And basically, like I said, it's a six one or a 38 millimeter offset. Um, some companies use that as well. So keep that in mind. Really like this wheel, this offset of a wheel on the 72 inch machines here. Um, again, it helps you fit in trailers on trails, which the trails are getting wider, but they're still a little tight for a 72 inch machine with the offset wheel. Um, but again, uh, the benefits of this is it helps you to steer. The, the steering, if you get a big offset on it, can you know have more leverage, makes it harder to steer no matter what unit you have. So with the factory offset wheel here in this uh, particular rim, works out really good and a lot more manufacturers are offering this uh, offset now used to it was really hard and you'd pay out the butt for it and and spend you know two grand to get a one inch offset now you know 650 you know you could probably get into a set of these you know and that's really reasonable for a set of you know one inch offset wheels um, and again we like these on the 72 inch wide machines just because it's easier on the power steering, easier on some suspension components as far as bushing and stuff goes. And it just, you know, makes it easier to drive through the woods if I keep it the same track width for us here on the 72 inch machines. And that's about it guys. Um, we'll have some steel pictures of some of the wheels on these machines um, here at the end of the video. And again, as always guys, remember to click the subscription button at the bottom here and also click that notification bell guys so we can keep you, you know, informed and up to date on what we got going on around here at the shop.